You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's going on guys, Alex and welcome to a new Sony Vegas store. It's Wednesday, so that means a new video for you guys. And today we're gonna to talk about how to um, like pop out your image or yourself or someone else. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in Sony Vegas, but there's actually some Photoshopping in, involved. So just, I'm gonna start off at the beginning. When we move further along, I can just tell you guys what you have to do in Photoshop, you know, to do this little extra. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so as you can see, I have this um, this random footage that I'm standing on this rooftop, you know, watching the sunset. So basically, let's say I wanna just um, take a screenshot of this, you know? That's the moment where you wanna pause it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna just um, press um, print screen. In my case, it is the button on the right-hand side of the um, F12 button, press that. You have your screenshot, but basically what you wanna do is you just wanna take the screenshot and edit it real quick. So I, uh, normally I can, I do I use it in paint, so I just do, quickly do like this, you know. I'm masking the whole frame out. A new file, don't save, like this, and then Control S, and then you save it. And then you wanna open Photoshop, and you have to load in this picture, select the whole background, and you wanna delete that, or you wanna have something else, or like a purple background or whatever. Drag that into Vegas, and then play the track, let's see the picture and then play the track along. So basically for the sake of time, I'm just gonna skip the video and I'll show you guys how it looks afterwards. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys right now. All right, so I'm done. I just made this. Um, I made the picture real quick in Photoshop. This is not a Photoshop tutorial, but just, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this in Sony Vegas. Basically what if you have Vegas open, then you wanna just drag your picture into Vegas, right there. And as you can see, it's, you know, the outline and I chose some random galaxy and stuff. Basically what we're going to do now is we just want to put this at the beginning of where we pause the video. So after you drag it into Vegas, you just want to play it and see how it looks. And you see my hair is like on the edge and in the Photoshop version, you can see it's not there. I just made that real quick just to show you guys, just for an example, when you're just done with the screen, you can just press S and then delete it and just add your original footage to it. It should look something like this. You know, just a real quick picture. You can do it better in, you know, in Photoshop. So basically, that's how you do this, guys. This is not like a Photoshop tutorial, but I thought I'm gonna just wanna show you guys how to do it. So basically, I wanna thank you guys very much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video and wanna see more of these Sony Vegas tutorials, you can subscribe down below so you won't miss out any new content. You won't miss out any new videos and all that kind of stuff. And if you find this video helpful, feel free to reward it with a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST and 10 p.m. CET. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex and welcome to a new video. It's Wednesday, so that means a new Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to render out your video in 60 frames per second. Because we all want like the maximum quality out of our videos. Basically, this is just causing the, the rendering that's going to choose the actual quality of the video overall. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how to render out your video in 1080p HD resolution with 60 frames per second. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to drag in some footage. I'm going to drag in my intro like I always do. There we go. I'm just going to remove the audio by holding control and press U. And then you can just remove it. I have a separate video of like how to remove a, how to separate a video from an audio track. You can find it in the playlist down below. But today we're going to talk about how to render out your videos in 60 frames per second. Drag or footage, whatever place you want. And then you do is want to go to project video properties. You want to click that. And then you want to pick in the templates HD 1080 24p. So that's 1080p. But And then we're going to choose the 60 frames per second. So we go to the frame rate. And we're gonna set this one on 59940NTSC and click that. Then we're gonna just hit apply and then press OK. And then the next thing is rendering. Choose or select all the footage you want to render. I'm just gonna pick like a really short clip just to show you guys. And the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go to file, render as, like you always do. This is the part where most people like make the most mistakes. So we wanna to go to XDCAM EX MP4. We want to click on HQ 920 by 1080 resolution, the 24P, not these 50 or 60i because that's interlaced and that will like cause really weird stripes along your video it's just going to ruin your footage so you can just click this one and then what you want to do is not press render but go to customize template so basically we're going to just put this one to 60 frames per second so the last thing you want to do is just go to frame rate put this one on 59 940 press ok and click 
render. So that's how you render out your video in 60 frames per second. If you like the video, you can feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. If you want to see more of these Sony Vegas tutorials and if you find this video helpful, you can subscribe down below. It's, it's free so you won't miss out on new content and stuff. There are coming a lot of Sony Vegas tutorials coming your way in you know the next week. So every Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST and 10 p.m. CAT on my channel. If you don't want to miss out, just click the subscribe button down below so you just automatically get updates. I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Because what's up, Alex? I'm welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to synchronize um, audio from an external microphone and you know with your video. When you're recording a video, you have your camera that picks up the sound and your microphone or whatever. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how to synchronize those two so that you can replace the camera audio with like the studio or whatever. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so as you can see, I have this uh, little video from my buddy, LTHH official. Um, that's just an example. This is just the audio of the camera and I have on my background I have the mp3 track only with the, the studio mic so let's drag that in here real quick alright so as you can see I have this separate green track so that's the audio of the studio microphone so basically what we're gonna do now is just we're gonna zoom in like real close and we're gonna just match the sound waves you see this you see this little ending here and here you want to search that in your track below it so basically I think that it's like this so if you synchronize it like this and we can zoom in really to just show you guys sync like this and basically when you have it wrong it's not synchronized it sounds like this it adds like this little echo effect so it basically when we're just going to match it like a little bit better it sounds like this you know that's like almost there so we're going to zoom in real quick and just want to match this one and normally you won't be able to tell that are like two soundtracks. Sounds like this. Synchronized, it sounds like this. Meaning here over things and situations. The two vlogs. So it's, it looks almost that there's no ex extra sounds. Basically what we're gonna do now is we just wanna um, re remove the camera audio. Just click on the track and press control U. I have a separate video for like how to separate audio from video. That's uh, you can check it in the place down below. Control U. And then we just wanna you can drag it so it won't delete it. And we wanna add this audio the studio audio to the video. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna set our marker right here. And then we just wanna hold it with your left mouse and just drag it up. But then you won't like replace it like when you're going up and down. So normally it sounds like this, synchronized. No, it's Dutch, you won't be able to understand anything, but you can see just for the um, example that it's like synchronized. So it's, it's actually looking quite well. So basically that's how you synchronize your video and audio separately. So if you want to see more of these videos, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below, it's always appreciated. And if you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 1pm PST and 10pm CET, you can subscribe down below so you won't miss out on any updates. And I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, I'm just Alex Alfred. Awesome that you're all watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. My name is Alex and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove those black bars as you can see in my preview screen on Sony Vegas. You no, know, like this annoying thing that you have to stretch your own footage and it's going to be like super wide and everything. So basically I'm going to show you guys how to remove those black bars, you know how to fix all the stretches. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see I have this really cheesy vlog from like back in 2012 when I was like 16 or something or almost yeah I was like 17 almost you can find all the first vlogs in the um, in the playlist down below in the description you can find the playlist vlog season 1 2 and 3 this episode is from vlog season 1 you might as well have to scroll real back so you can find the videos that I put up in 2012 but today we're gonna talk about this black bars as you can see right here next to the video I'm gonna tell you guys what those black bars are and why they are there I have this preview screen that's 16.9 aspect ratio 920 by 1080 resolution i shot this video with a webcam or like an iphone 4 that that doesn't have that 69 aspect ratio so it's you know it's not as wide as the actual resolution that i have right here so basically that's why the video is like almost a square instead of like a rectangle as you can see like the whole preview screen so basically i'm going to show you guys how to remove those black bars because i see a lot of people like um, if you want to stretch a video that's already on YouTube, you say like you put stretch 69 um, whatever you know ratio in the tags and then it's going to stretch automatically. I've tested it. I have not encountered any you know differences. It doesn't stretch at all. So basically if you have a video that's already up and you want to have that exact video and you want to remove the black bars, unfortunately you have to re-upload the video. That's what I did new like back in 2012 you know like when I started like, on YouTube like I was like on YouTube for like three weeks and now I'm like on YouTube like two and a half years so I didn't know anything about this you know I just 
press record and start filming. So let's talk about how to remove those black bars. Okay, so basically how I remove black bars, you know, if I have like, um, like a footage, and you know, there's like black bars, but like really thin. What I do is just we're gonna click on the video track. And then when basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we click on properties. Then you get this little menu. And this is gonna be the part where you need to um, uncheck some things. And the first part is if you would remove the black bar. So basically you wanna stretch the entire video like until it fits on your resolution of your preview video, you just wanna uncheck maintain aspect ratio. So basically that's just gonna stretch the video and you can just move it in all kinds of positions. So if I check this box and I click on okay, and I click on event pan crop, as you can see, if I wanna stretch the, the footage like until it's like completely stretched, they're always gonna be black bars whatsoever. I'm just dragging it around. So maybe I'm gonna put it like there. As you can see, I'm dragging it around and they're always gonna be black bars. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys how to remove that. So basically, you just want to right click properties and you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio real quick. If you want to have like a little less of lag in your video, just click on the sample resample. I have a tutorial like how to stop lags in, in Sony Vegas. So if you want to check the video out, you can just scroll down in the description and find the Sony Vegas tutorials playlist. So basically, you just want to click OK. So after this video, you can just watch some other Vegas tutorials. I have a ton of them in, this, in the playlist down below so you can check it out. So basically, what you want to do is just want to right click and you want to click on properties. Like I said, you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and I'm about to press on OK, but look what happens to the footage. It stretches completely. So basically, the bad thing is your footage like really stretched. That's the the bad side of the bad thing about this method like you just need to find a way to just film it in like 920 by 1080 or something so basically you don't have those black bars because but the technology of the cameras you know in the iphone 5 has like no black bars because i filmed like a few seasons with an iphone 4 and i had in all those videos i had those black bars so when i started the vlog with the iphone 5 the one that i have right here it doesn't have any bars apple has increased some things in the iphone so that's like a really positive thing. I had to film like the vlogs um, with whatever I had laying around, you know, like when I had like a 50 bucks camera laying around here and now like after being on YouTube and it's like full time job, basically a camera like $50 and you can just add another zero. So basically that that's where we're going to film with right now, the Canon 600D. So basically that's the bad thing about, you know, filming with like an old webcam. So basically that's it for this video, guys. If you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials, I have already a bunch of them in the playlist down below. You can find it. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. So always appreciate it. If you want to see more of the Sony Vegas tutorials, you can watch on my channel every Tuesday at 1 p.m. PST. That's 10 p.m. CET. I hope you guys find this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. It's Wednesday. So I'm using a new Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys. And as you can see, I have my own merchandise. I'll stand up for you guys. As you can see, I have my own logo with a crown and just Alex Albert there. And you can actually get this shirt on my Spreadshirt shop. Yes, I have my own Spreadshirt shop. Sends out worldwide. I have like hoodies, t-shirts, coffee mugs, everything you can imagine, like kit stuff, all that kind of stuff. So you can, you can check the link in the description down below so you can maybe get some shirts, whatever. It, it all means the world to me by far. So basically, it's, that's one I wanted to throw out real quick. So basically, right now, we're going to just move on to the exit tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to overlay videos and images in your videos. So basically, I have my new outro, as you can see. Bam! So I have my new outro there. And as you can see on the left, we have our other videos. That's like the preview of what people, what people can expect from my channel. And on the right, we have just like a secret video, you know, like a random video. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how to overlay a picture and a video. So if you can see on the left of the screen, you have uh, the previews. Those are all just separate clips from videos that I took and just edited in the outro itself. So let's say I'm going to just remove the clips and then you can see it's going to turn black because there is no clip in the actual frame. So there's not anything playing right there. Okay, so let's say um, I'm gonna drag a picture of myself on top of this video. So basically what you wanna do, you just open your map. I have it on my second monitor. And then you just wanna drag whatever picture you have in. So I'm gonna drag my photo in real quick. So normally it sh should be seen right now. All right, that is me. That's like a PNG image of myself. So basically, that's how simple it is. You can just drag it from your folder into in, into the editing program in Sony Vegas. To move this or picture around and stuff, create a new video track, put the image right there, and you can just click on this little white icon on the left. And you get this little dialogue, and this actually allows you to do the same, but just like with the whole video track, not only the photo, but the whole video track. So as you can see, I can just click on this, and it's going to make it taller, taller. And as you can see, I can just turn it. Uh, I can just turn it sideways. I can rotate it like however I want it. So basically, and just wanna, if you have like, oh shit, I messed up, 
just right click restore box boom that's it so basically that's it for the picture you want to load in so basically let's go to um a video and i will show you guys how i put my uh videos in that little um frame on the left with other videos so let's just just the same with the picture just drag in but then your video so i'm gonna click on my video real quick all right so let's say i'm gonna drag in um a giveaway video normally if you have like music underneath your um outro you just want to cut out the audio of the video so how to do that is just, you just click on the audio track press Control u and then you can just drag it as you can see I have a separate tutorial for like how to separate video and audio. You can check that out in the description down below. This is just how to uh, overlay images and video. The next thing you want to do is you want to cut um, like a, a certain part of the video that you want to show. Like this is like me talking and this is like me showing what I'm going to give away, like the mouse and stuff. So let's say I just want to have this frame of me talking. So let's just cut it from right here until right here. So this, we do just want to cut this, delete this, delete this. We have our little clip from like maybe like two seconds or something. You want to go back to the beginning and you just want to drag this, whatever on your video track that's above the actual end card. I just drag the part of the video and I cut out the audio. I cut out the excess part that I don't want. And then you have this little clip and you can just put it right here. And you know, this is like an example, like how to uh, overlay videos and footage, but this is this is already an overlay. As you can see, I have my outro that starts and then that's the video, that's the overlay. And then it goes back to the uh, actual end card. So basically, that's how you overlay a video or a picture or whatever. So basically, if you guys like this video and you want to see more of these phone fake tutorials every Wednesday at 10 p.m. CET and 1 p.m. PST, you can subscribe down below. It's totally free and my videos will appear on your homepage as soon as they come out and you can just get notifications through email. You guys know how it rolls. So basically, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you liked this video, help feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you want to support me in any way, you can just follow me on Twitter or like this video or share this video or you can just buy some shirts or whatever swag. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.